compound or open fracture. What is the definition of compound or open fracture? Uh, it is a fracture associated with a skin wound communicating the fracture hematoma with the external environment. What are the etiology and the types of uh, the compound fracture? Compound fracture may be fracture from without. What does it mean to compound the fracture from without? External trauma. Injury, the outer surface of the skin. Then produce fracture. Since the trauma comes from, to the skin comes from outside. And outside is the external environment which uh, containing excessive microorganisms. Therefore, usually the trauma from outside injure the skin and push the microorganism into the bone, leading to compound fracture from without, which is usually liable for contamination and infection. In contrast to compound fracture from within, trauma. Trauma leading to fracture of the bone. And the bone fragment produce injury of the inner surface of the skin from inside the body. In this case, usually contamination is not likely to occur and the less common them compound the fracture from without. Um, therefore, there are two types of compound fracture. Compound fracture from without, from external trauma, leading to injury of the outer surface of the skin, then fracture of the bone with introduction of microorganism, and this called compound the fracture from without. Hoyle fracture leading to injury of the inner surface of the skin is called the fracture from within. Um, what is the pathology of uh, this condition? The commonest uh, site for compound fracture is any subcutaneous bone because any subcutaneous bone if receive any trauma usually there is a skin injury with a fracture leading to compound fracture what are the commonest bone to be affected fracture tibia there is white surface area of tibia subcutaneous and the commonest compound fracture is fracture tibia also fracture ulna large part of ulna is subcutaneous or fracture mandible or a skull fracture these are the commonest site for compound fracture what is the classification of compound fractures the classification of compound fracture depends upon Gastello classification. What is Gastello classification? Gastello classification classify compound fracture into three grades. First grade. The first grade is clean wound. Very small wound, less than one centimeter because the wound is clean and the wound is very small liability for infection is not present and the tissue damage is minimal Gastello grade 2 Gastello grade 2 there is wound from 1 cm to 10 cm in size 
with moderate tissue damage and moderate contamination therefore moderate contamination moderate tissue damage size from 1 cm to 10 cm this is Gastello grade 2 Gastello grade 3 Gastello grade 3 is uh, subdivided into 3A, 3B, and 3C. In all grade 3, there is marked tissue damage and there is high contamination of the wound. And the wound is usually more than 10 centimeters. This is general features of grade 3. High contamination, more than 10 cm, market tissue damage. And the bone is comminuted. What is the difference between grade A, B, and C? In grade A, soft tissue coverage is possible. We can surgically close the wound and cover the fracture because there is no market tissue loss. Therefore, grade 3A, soft tissue coverage is possible surgically. Grade 3B. Grade 3B, there is marked loss of the soft tissues and closure surgically and simply is impossible and there is marked preosteal stripping and this patient to cover the fracture need soft tissue reconstructive surgery need plastic surgery to close the defect. In grade 3 C as B there is marked tissue loss loss of coverage and in addition to this there is vascular injury and the patient thus requiring two reconstructive surgery reconstruction of soft tissue and vascular reconstruction. This is the Gastello classification. Grade 1, very small wound, less than 1 cm, no risk of contamination, and the condition is very, very simple. Grade B, moderate contamination, 1 to 10 cm, moderate tissue damage. Severe tissue damage, high risk of contamination, more than 10 cm, and this bone is comminuted. This is the features of grade 3. Grade 3A, soft tissue coverage is possible. B, we need reconstructive surgery for the soft tissue. And C, there is also vascular injury. We need soft tissue reconstruction and the vascular reconstruction. What is the complications of uh, compound fracture? Sure, all general complications. The patient, uh, this patient is uh, fixed and lie in bed for uh, months and therefore liable for all complications of prolonged bed rest and all general complications like in this massive accident hemorrhage, shock, etc. as we will mention in the complications later on of uh, all the fractures. The major risk of uh, compound fracture is introduction of infection 
Introduction of infection leading to secondary hemorrhage, leading to osteomyelitis, or infection with a specific organism like tetanus or gas gangrene. Osteomyelitis is very dangerous in this patient. Why? Destroy the granulation tissue, which is the first attempt of healing of the fracture. Destroy osteoblast, which will form the new bone formation and play the most important role in healing of the fracture. Therefore, if infection occur and osteomyelitis occur, delayed union and usually non-union may occur. What is the clinical picture and the investigations of compound fracture? The same as we take previously in the general principles of the fracture. What is uh, the treatment of uh, compound fracture? Treatment of compound fracture, this major accident, means a sure general measures and first aid. What is the general measures and the first aid needed for this patient? As general principles, with uh, take care of life threatening injuries which have the first priority over treatment of the fracture, which is, we know that the most important injury, which is rapidly fitter, is chest injury and the airway injury, followed by head injury, followed by visceral abdominal injury. Sure, uh, due to risk of contamination in this patient, rapid intake of intravenous antibiotic. Cephalosporins for gram-positive microorganism and gentamicin for gram-negative microorganisms. Definitive surgical treatment in the hospital under general anesthesia is started by profuse irrigation. Irrigation of the wound. Why? to remove any dirt and to reduce contamination. Sure, there is devitalized necrotic tissues, therefore the brightment of the wound, as previously in management of wounds. We all mean that uh, there, are, there are general rules for the brightment of the wound, and we all know that the brightment of the wound is excision of the devitalized tissues, which has specific rules we should know carefully from management of wounds. Our problem here in this chapter of orthopedic is how you treat the fracture. As usual, we need reduction and fixation. Reduction and fixation in uh, Gastello grade 1 and 2. Usually, there is no risk of infection. And therefore, the best is over reduction and internal fixation. But in Gastello grade 3, there is high risk of contamination. Therefore, we can't perform over reduction and internal fixation, and over reduction and internal fixation is contra are contraindicated due to the risk of infection. In Gastello uh, 1 and 2, over reduction and internal fixation using for the shaft of tibia or shaft of femur. The best is intramedullary nail. But in other long bones or injury near the joint, the best is a screw or blade and the screws. For Gastello 3, there is high risk of infection and the open reduction and the internal fixation are contraindicated. Therefore, we have no choice. The only choice is close the reduction and the fixation by external skeletal fixator. After a uh, few days, after 10 to 15 days, 
if the soft tissue problems was controlled and infection subsided by massive antibiotic intravenous antibiotic taken if the condition allow and soft tissue problem is finished and the infection no more risky therefore external skeletal fixator can be converted to internal fixation uh, finally i am very sorry the treatment may be amputation why amputation in severe crushing injury with injury of all main vessels and the nerves this is called the hopeless limb I have no choice except amputation also if the condition is complicated by gangrene ischemic gangrene or gas gangrene we have no choice except amputation therefore amputation is uh, indicated for compound fracture in hopeless limb or the condition complicated by gangrene this is a compound fracture thank you for good listening and good luck